another quick, short, poor quality video for you guys. Uh, so yesterday I posted two videos, booting from ISO on a USB flash drive using, uh, in my case, uh, Grub2. Now, uh, the discussion that we were having in the IRC channel was uh, how this works and can it work with all distributions. Um, and although I think pretty much all modern distributions will have this functionality, uh, and I've yet to come across a distro that I can't boot like this, uh, I want to admit that I quite possibly was wrong. Uh, I had a the person I was discussing this with in the IRC channel uh, give an example. He did a little video for me. And uh, see, my confusion was when Grub2 came out, it was a big thing that you can boot ISOs with Grub2 now off a USB flash drive. And... Um, Although that's true, it's you could do it before, but what I thought was when Grub2 came out was that it was giving that functionality to all distros, whether the distro supported it or not. Uh, and that uh, is not the case. What it allowed was for loopback. So before, uh, from my understanding, from the discussion in the IRC room, if I'm understanding him properly, is with Grub or Lilo or older... Um, Boot, uh, bootloaders that you had to have the kernel and initial RAM disk outside of the ISO, but after that you could still boot the ISO in many cases. I thought with Grub2 that it loaded up the ISO and that it didn't matter from that point on, uh, and, and I appear to be wrong about that, and so I wanted to come out and say that since I made two videos. Uh, not that I was completely wrong in everything I was saying, but I was wrong on my understanding of exactly how it worked. Uh, so I thank that uh, person I was chatting with for pointing that out to me. Uh, and something jumping in a tree up there. Uh, that's it. Just like to admit when I'm wrong, and I was wrong. Uh, and that's it.